Hello and welcome to this guide for Metroid Fusion going through the recommended items and the route for any percent. So it's a guide that's going to be more oriented towards newer people trying to get into the run because when starting out there is a lot of confusion or a lot of items that people tend to pick up that are either just way too slow or just not recommended as part of the route. Like they'll end up swapping out some of the actual items in the route for some that are slower, less favoured items and generally loses quite a lot of time to picking up either excess items or items that take about 20-30 seconds to pick up over something else. So coming on to Arachnus, you want to pick up the first two missile tanks you find. So this one's the first item you pick up and then into the room to the right, uh, to the left, you want to pick up this missile tank as well. So you want to pick up both. I'm going to just really quickly show a little thing with this missile tank. So take note of the background. There's like these patterns. You want to run up, shoot when you get to the halfway point of this pattern. So when you get to the halfway point, you want to shoot up. Any earlier, you shoot over the block. Any later, you end up missing it entirely. So you want to pick up both of those because Arachnus is 15 missiles to kill. And if you only pick one of them up, you'll end up with no missiles once you've killed him. And there's no guarantee that you get missiles at the end of the fight. So the first E-Tank you want to be picking up is the one right above Arachnus. Just pick this one up, it's right in the way. Don't pick this one up. So this E-Tank is about a 10 second-ish grab, if not a little bit longer, possibly. But the thing with this one as well is you lose a missile for doing it. You, you lose a missile for grabbing this item. And as I stated with Arachnus, uh, there is a chance that Arachnus can roll. Which means you'll end up one less missile, and rolling means you'll end up with even fewer missiles when you go to the core fight, which means you have a higher likelihood of running out of missiles as you go to fight for the core. So you want to be avoiding that E-Tank altogether, and you want to go into the Arachnus fight with 20 missiles. So after Adam and the way out of main deck, you want to take a quick detour into this hole to pick this missile up. So this missile, it just makes it much easier to manage your resource in sector 1, leaves a lower chance of having to farm at the idol and because sector 1 is so huge for resource management it's just a little bit safety just makes it a bit quicker plus it helps later on for things like sector 3 and emergency and sector 6 missile management like this is one that will help not just early game but also going into mid game as well so onto what would be the only item you might pick up in sector 1 with this guy at the top trying to kill me uh, is the sea tank now this is one that's not mandatory, you might want to skip this E-Tank later down the line, but for starting out, definitely pick this one up. It acts as a refresh for if you take damage in the previous rooms, and it's just safety for later on, because earlier parts of the game are quite punishing, especially Sector 2. This is one E-Tank that will help for safety in Sector 2, and a couple of little tricks later on as well. It's one that I do recommend picking up starting out, it's one that I also recommend that you think about getting rid of further down the line, but not until like when you start breaking into some good times, but for beginner runs, yeah pick this one up. Now I'm just going to show a quick way of getting this E-Tank quite easily without taking any damage on the way out. So as soon as this room loads, you want to fire a missile down, two straight across, one up, and then what jump and shoot one more missile. So uh, one thing as well, on the way out, just stall yourself a little bit. It'll let the guy swing out, which gives you a little bit more leniency for getting out. So just before fighting Zazabi, you want to pick this E-Tank up, because again, it's just safety. One of those that's not out the way, just go there and pick it up. It also helps for a trick that I'm going to just show coming up. So if you do opt to pick up three E-Tanks before Zazabi, then you have the opportunity to do this kind of stack skip coming up. And there we go. So that skip kind of just mitigates the time unless you take for picking up the extra E-Tank in Sector 1. You can go for it, but if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. It's a six second trick which doesn't make or break a run at this stage. So that E-Tank is the only item you'll be picking up in Sector 2 throughout the whole run. So on to Sector 4, you pick nothing up in Sector 4. I do see people when starting out go out of the way to pick items up in this sector. 
all of them are very slow. All of them have much quicker means of going through the rooms. That picking up the items will lose so much more time than you'd think. Don't pick anything up in fall. I'm showing Bob because there is a really little thing you can do to speed it up. So, when you go to pick Bob up, you can place a bomb which will break the blocks. And that basically means you don't have to wait for the bomb because the cutscene will go through it. The bomb will blow up, you're in the cutscene, which means you're not losing time for placing that bomb, or you're not losing time cutscene or anything like that. If you do miss the bomb, just go past, or north, shoot up, and then go through. So, onto Sector 6, and what will be the only missile tank you pick up in Sector 6 is on the way out down here, place a bomb, and then run away from it. So, this item you want to be picking up on the exit of Sector 6. So, placing the bomb and running away from it is basically, you're not waiting for the bomb timer. After you've gotten barrier and on the way out of 6, you want to end up going back into that hole, because it'll just be left there. Just before sex, you'll be picking up this E-Tank, so if you place a bomb and then go into the E-Tank, those blocks there will be broken for you as soon as the E-Tank is done. There is a couple of ways of grabbing this. You can do it where you speed boost into it, but that's kind of tricky. So you jump through the door, morph, and then pick it up like that. It's actually kind of perfect, almost. Or a safer way is just jump over it, place your bomb, and then move into it. So once you've freed the animals, you don't want to be exiting straight out to the right over here. You want to go down through here instead. Because there's a missile tank right here, it's a quick one. And since you're falling already, you might as well fall and exit through the bottom instead. On the way out of main deck, you could take a detour to the left instead of dropping straight down this lift to pick up this missile tank. But... This is one of the slower ones out of all of the missile tanks coming up. We have like a selection of four missile tanks in a period of about five, ten minutes in this next point after like a dry streak of nothing for ten minutes. So this is one of them. This is a really easy one to pick up and it's just a slight detour. We have to back up and go down the elevator. So that's one of four. Now, one of the more recent items added to the route is this missile here. We call this one Double Yellows Missile. So, this is actually quite a quick missile. It's one that we you probably wouldn't expect to be as quick as it is. But it's also one with quite a higher margin for error than some of the other missiles. You can get this on entry of power bombs or on exit of power bombs. Entry looks a bit like this. So this one is honestly surprisingly one of the quicker missiles in the game. It's very, very slightly slower on entry of 5 than it is exit of 5, but it's got a much smaller window of error on entry than exit, because on exit it looks like this. So as you can see there's a much larger margin for error because you can spring ball through the low transition or before you hit the door. That is extremely precise. Though. You have to do it super, super low so you can just clip the corner and hit it where you are. You also have to shoot the missile block. So depending on your route, this one may be either the last missile tank you pick up or the second to last missile tank you pick up. So this is actually one of the fastest missile tanks in the game to pick up. That isn't a mandatory one. Because it's just waiting for the power bomb timing, which is about a three second thing. And once the power bomb detonates, which you can do immediately on entry of the room, so if you jump through the room, morph, place the power bomb, that can basically be instant on entry of the room. Plus, if you speed boost through, you end up backing up on yourself anyways, and you have to break these blocks, which can be kind of awkward to do. So, this one is one I do recommend including in your row. Plus, there's no guarantee of getting the speed boost, so you may end up having to pick it up regardless. And if you don't pick it up, it can cause some inconsistency in your segment timings or your split timings. So, it's one I do recommend picking up, because it's one of the fastest, and there's no guarantee of a speed boost that can make you go past it. So onto what should be the last E-Tank you pick up is the Yakuza E-Tank on the way to Yakuza. 
So it's right in the way. It's honestly kind of precise trying to avoid this one. So just pick it up really, it's um, safety. And it's harder to skip it than it is to get it. <laughs> and also, depending on what item route you go for is what could be the last missile tank you pick up. So this one is actually quite a bit, quite a little bit slower, but it's not that slow. It is a pretty long haul and on the way back. But if you do pick it up, place your power bomb on the way to pick it up. Because that does break the blocks this side. Which is why you place the power bomb, anyways. Otherwise, if you don't pick up, you want to place your power bomb here instead. Those two are what should be the last two items you pick up in your route. Now, saying that, I'm going to go through a couple of miscellaneous items that you may end up picking up as well. Let's say you've had a pretty tough time in the sector and you end up with like really bad resources, you're not max health, you have too few missiles. You could go to the left to pick this missile tank just to refresh your missiles, but it's not really a recommended part of the route, it's just a bit of safety just to guarantee that you can finish the sector off. Ideally though, if you manage to get through the sector and you end up about this and many missiles once you've killed the stabilizer in this next room, then just outright skip this item, don't bother with this item. Only do it as like an emergency thing if you're at like three missiles, two missiles or something like that and not max health. You don't have a guarantee of getting missiles in the next rooms. That's the only way I'd say you pick this missile up. So on to an item you don't really want to be picking up. So say you lose your speed boost or you mess up your exit. Then down here is your missile tank as Pity. We call this one Pity Missile because you just pick it up. It's like taking pity on the fact that you missed your speed boost and then you gotta exit but if you you don't have to pick it up even if you do mess it up you can jump over it if you don't want to mess up any of the like your segment golds later on for a missile you might replace or you could still add it to your count and then still pick up your items as normal but ideally you don't pick this missile up because you get your speed boost out I pity missile. So let's say you have a really hard time with the box fight. There is an item here that you could pick up just to safety, just to guarantee you don't get killed. Now this isn't actually really a recommended item to pick up as part of the route. It's just to avoid dying to the side hoppers. That's the only reason I'm showing this item because you can mess up at these side hoppers and if you have a bad time of box you can die to him so that's the only reason you pick this item up otherwise just outright avoid it if you get past the side hoppers and you're worried about sector six recharge on the way out of three so the nightmare retech is one that you may pick up just for safety just gives you a little bit more margin for error in the nightmare fight and a couple of fights coming up as well so this one is not too slow a pickup at all with it being so late in the run though, you don't really need it as part of the recommended route, but if you're struggling to finish runs, if you're struggling with these boss fights coming up, you can pick it up. There's two ways of picking it up. You can place a power bomb and go up to the top, pick it up. But this is a way that is quicker than that and it's not actually that hard to do. So here's the other way of picking this up. So uh, what you do is, as soon as you've touched the second crumble block, you unmorph and hold forward or upright, and you grab the ledge, press A, pick it up, and then go back. So another e tank you could end up picking up, but I don't really recommend it, is this e tank. So it's so late in the run at this point that you don't really need it, but if you really struggle with Ridley, you could go out of your way to pick it up, but I don't recommend it. The one thing I will note is you don't want to pick up any power bomb tanks at all. There's no reason to. You don't use enough power bomb tanks to warrant picking any up. The least you'll ever have during a run will be about four or three. You'll never use more than ten during any segment in the run. So avoid every power bomb tank you'd see. Even if there is one just right here, just ignore it and go past. 
So that is that for the 80% item guide. I hope it helps you with which items you want to pick up. And even if you already run the game, maybe it'll help you change some items that you pick up. But yeah. There's a lot of items you can pick up, but the recommended percents are 13%, that is 5 E-Tanks 50 missiles, 12% is 4 E-Tanks 50 missiles, there's 11% which could be 4 E-Tanks 45 missiles, that could be 3 E-Tanks 50 missiles, which is what I'll be running, and then so on and so forth. Hell, even if you're starting out, 7 E-Tanks 50 missiles, so 15% could help you finish your runs. But that is that for this guide. As I said, I hope it helps you with wrote in the game. I hope it helps you finishing runs. And I hope it helps make your runs a bit quicker. Check out my box guide because that's another fight that people kind of struggle with. So with that, I'm out. Have a good one.